This video will show how to create enumerations. These will be used to automatically hide OS alarm messages. Three main tasks are required to set up automatic smart alarm hiding. These tasks have been divided into three videos. First, enumerations have to be created to represent the different operating states of the process. Next, we need to add and configure a special block to detect these different operating states and associate them with the new enumerations previously created. Finally, the alarm messages to be hidden are selected in Process Object View and tested in OS Runtime. In this video, we'll start with creating the enumerations. If you have more than 10 operating states to configure, then you need to adjust the displayed states. This is done by clicking the Options menu, selecting Customize, and then selecting the Columns tab. Expand Process Object View, and then select Messages. To the right will be a list of all the columns available in the Messages tab of Process Object View. Scroll down the list until you see the status number columns. Notice that 1 through 10 are checked by default and therefore visible in the Process Object View Messages tab. If more than 10 operating states are required, you can make up to 32 visible for use. In this example, we'll only need two, so we can just close the Customize window with no changes. Now let's add the enumerations to the Master Data Library in accordance to best practice methods. Expand the Master Data Library, then expand Shared Declarations and Enumerations, and select Operating State. If you have any earlier version of PCS7 and this enumeration is not already there, then simply insert a new enumeration and name it Operating State, spelled exactly as shown. This defines the connection to Process Object View States. In this example, we're going to add a Maintenance Operating and a Stop Operating State. Right-click Operating State, select Insert New Object, and then select Value. Rename the new value object to Operation. Click somewhere else and the display name will also change to Operation. This will represent the normal operating state of the process with the value of zero. Using the same method, insert another value. Let's name it Maintenance with the value of one. This will represent the maintenance operating state of the process with a value of 1 and an association to status 1. Let's add a third value using the same method and call it stop. This will represent the stop operating state of the process with a value of 2 and an association to status 2. Next, we have to synchronize these enumerations with the rest of the multi-project. Right-click the Shared Declarations folder of the Master Data Library. Select Shared Declarations. Then Synchronize in Multi-Project. Click the OK button to confirm where you're synchronizing from. Click the OK button again to confirm where you're synchronizing to. A log will be created, but in this example, we won't open it. Expand another project and select the operating state enumeration. You can see that the changes we made in the master data library have been synchronized to the rest of the multi-project. Now we'll open Process Object View by clicking the View menu 
and selecting Process Object View. When the Process Object View window opens, select the Messages tab and scroll to the right. Scroll to the right to find the Maintenance and Stop Operation statuses we just created. Seeing these two status identifiers here in place of the generic Status 1 and Status 2 column headers means we've created them correctly. Now close Process Object View. Don't forget to watch How to Configure Automatic Smart Alarm Hiding Part 2 Conditions in Part 3 Process Object View.